Hello guys and girls, patient and impatient, welcome to Bug Excel. In this video, we are going to discuss about top 5 uses of this amazing tool known as FFUF. So, first of all, we will be discussing that how to install this tool. So, you need to go on this address which is mentioned in the video that is FFUF GitHub repository and uh, just write the go command which is shown and you will be good to go. So just to check that if you have installed this command correctly or not, just write fffuf-h and you will see that there are plethora of commands there and you might be confused at what command to use and when it to use. So we are using top 5 usage of this command in this video so follow us throughout this video. So for this video we will be using the big.txt list from seclist which is available in the discovery directory and under that you will find web content directory and there are many files and folders out there you can see in the second row there is big.txt so we will be using that in this video so the first usage is very very simple it is a basic command you just need to write ffuf hyphen u then the url but at the end of the url you need to write this word known as fuzz it is an in, it will act as an injection point for the directory or the contents of directory and then you need to use another flag which is word list flag you need to write hyphen w then write the path of the word list and then write uh, hyphen recursion now what recursion will do is it will run the all the directory contains again if it finds a new directory for example if it find uh, slash test then it will run again for slash test slash and it will write the word first automatically so you can find every every directory listing on the server and it will help you a lot so now the second main usage is to find any specific extension file like bak or docs or pdf or word excel ppt anything on the web server so what you need to write again is ffuf then the url then you need to write the first keyword after the uh, slash or where you want an injection point then you need to specify the flag known as hyphen e which is an extension flag and then you need then you can write any extension you want bak comma docs comma ppt comma pdf uh, anything you can write and uh, then just uh, start the attack and you will see that if there are any matching or any docs file or any bak file or any pdf file it will be shown so the third important usage is multiple fuzzing now let's take a scenario in which you have a multiple list of domains you are hunting and you want to try each and every a directory listing of the big.txt file which I mentioned earlier for each and every domain so you don't want to write every time the domain and then first keyword so here is a simple usage uh, you need to write ffuf then hyphen u then specify the url but instead of domain you need to write w1 which will be the injection point for the first payload and that payload will be containing of the domains you are hunting on then the next one will be uh, w1.com slash w2 now slash w2 will be the injection point for the big.txt file now how will you specify that how will ffuf know that in the first place you need to put up the domains and in the second place you need to put up the content of big.txt file so it is very very simple you need to write hyphen w then part to the word list and then colon then w1 then again hyphen w part to the word list and colon w2 so w1 will be the domains and w2 will be the big.txt file this is how you can do multiple fuzzing so for every domain you will get the directly listing okay so this the fourth usage is very very important and it will help you a lot to save your time resources and energy so it is a secure flag option uh, which is hyphen s and f now what will it will do is if your last 50 response or the 20% of the response are 5xx or 4xx, it will stop the hunting. So you know that every time instead of false negative, if the job is stopped, then it will save your time, energy and everything. So I am again repeating, if you use the flag hyphen sf along with any command I mentioned earlier, it will stop if the 20% of the command or the last 50 responses are 4xx or 5xx. So fifth and the final usage is very very important. You all are aware of rate limit that server are rate limiting your API request. So FFV of this amazing 
string which is known as the delay flag which is uh, used by hyphen p so if you write any number of seconds then the time gap between each sequence will be the number you have mentioned in the hyphen p flag so you to use this you can write ffuf then hyphen u url then first keyword then word list and then to use this you need to write hyphen p and 20 so the time gap between or the delay between each request will be 20 seconds so this are the five important uses of ffuf uh, we hope that you like this video so like comment and share thanks a lot